Hi. Friends welcome to Tech Blog, and in this video, you will find how to configure, Zabbix monitoring tool on Ubuntu, 16.04, and above. Are you puzzled how to monitor your servers? The Zabbix may be the solution for you. Under one roof, you can view all your server resources. So, let's chill after installing Zabbix. Zabbix is an enterprise open source monitoring software for networks and applications created by Alexei Vladishev. Using Zabbix, you can easily monitor servers, network devices and applications, gathering accurate statistics and performance data. Working diagram of Zabbix. As you can see here Zabbix agents gather information from the host and send it to Zabbix server. In some server, it is difficult, or not possible to install Zabbix agent, in that case, we use a Zabcat trapper instead of an agent, to push information to the server. Zabbix server gather all information to Zabbix database. And finally, we can view the output at Zabbix fond end. In order to do this, first, we need an Ubuntu Linux box with Brainstall Apache PHP and Miskel. Step 2 Installing the Zabbix server. Step 3 Configuring the Miskel database for Zabbix. Step 4 Configuring PHP for Zabbix. Step 5 Configuring settings for the Zabbix web interface. Let's go log in a client Ubuntu system and open up a terminal. I am using Ubuntu 16.04 server for this tutorial. My Zabbix server IP is 123.63.218.182. Here you can see I am logged in my Zabbix server with root account. I am gone now check my server, to see whether any response getting from it. Nothing will serving from my server. As I discuss, before installing Zabbix, you need to install Apache, PHP and Miskel. Here I gone I install Apache, PHP, Miskel and necessary package first. Miskel asks for root password. Set your Miskel root password and proceed to next. After that install few PHP modules, that Zabbix needs, like PHP XML PHP BC Math PHP MB Stream. Now we can install Zabbix. We'll use the official Zabbix repository, to install the latest stable version. Download and install the repository configuration package. You can find the link to description section below. Now update your package list using apt update command. Now install this Abix server and web front end with Miskel database support.
Let's also install the Zabbix agent, which will let us collect data about the Zabbix service status itself. Now we need to create a new MISCL database and populate it with some basic information in order to make it suitable for Zabbix. We'll also create a specific user for this database so Zabbix isn't logging into MISCL with the root account. Log into MISCL as the root user using the root password that you set up during the MISCL server installation. Create the Zabbix database with UTF-8 character support. Then create a user that the Zabbix server will use, give it access to the new database, and set the password for the user. Then apply these new permissions using flush privilege. Then exit from MISCL console. Next, we have to import the initial schema in data. The Zabbix installation provided us with a file that sets this up for us. Run the following command to set up the schema and import the data into the Zabbix database. It will ask for your Zabbix user password. Provide your Zabbix user password, and wait for a while. In order to use this database for the Zabbix server, you need to set the database password in the Zabbix server configuration file. Open the configuration file in your editor. I am using Nano Editor to edit the file. Scroll down to bottom. Here is the DB name Zabbix that's OK. Here is the DB user that's also OK. We need to set the DB password value in the file to the password for our database user. The Zabbix web interface is written in PHP and requires some special PHP server settings. The Zabbix installation process created an Apache configuration file that contains these settings. It is located in the directory slash etc slash Zabbix and is loaded automatically by Apache. We need to make a small change to this file, so open it up. Only change you need to make is to set the appropriate time zone, which is commented at by default. In my case, it is Asia and Kolkata. Set it as per your time zone. Now restart Apache to apply these new settings. Oops, it should be Apache too. Then check whether the Apache server is running properly. You can now start the Zabbix server. Then check whether the Zabbix server is running properly. Finally, Enable the server to start at boot time. Oops it should be system CTL. The web interface lets us see reports and add hosts that we want to monitor, but it needs some initial setup before we can use it. Launch your browser and go to the address and type Zabbix followed by your IP address. On the first screen, you will see a welcome message. Click next step to continue. On the next screen, 
you will see the table that lists all of the prerequisites to run Zapix. Oops. Here failed my parameter time zone it seems to see unfind. Let's check PHP supported time zone. Here it. Get back to the config file. Yep, I missed out the PHP 7 module. Let's restart all servers and check again. Yep, it's working finally. Go ahead and click on next. The next screen asks for database connection information. Here you have to put your database password for Zabbix. And click next step to proceed. Name your Zabbix server as you want. And click on next. Finally. Click on Finish. Now log into Zabbix front end interface. The default username is admin and password is Zabbix. Under configuration you can find the host. Click on Enable link to enable host. In next video we will cover, how to install the Zabbix agent and add a host in Zabbix. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe us. Have a good day, bye bye.